So, an example. Irene wants to make cupcakes. She can choose between white, chocolate, or red velvet cake mix. And she also has the options of using cream cheese, vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry frosting. How many different possible combinations of cake mix and frosting are possible? So here we want to make something with both cake mix and frosting. So we're only looking at two quantities. When we're doing it, we look at how many options we have for cake mix. And I have white, chocolate, or red velvet. So I have three options. In terms of frosting, which I can combine with those cake mixes in any sort of different way. I have cream cheese, vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. So I have four options there. So my answer here would simply be 12. And if I was a little bit confused about doing it this way, and this problem's not too hard, but I'll still show you how you would write it out. Basically, you would look at, so if I had white cake, I'll just represent that with a W. I could have either vanilla, cream cheese, chocolate, or strawberry frosting. And you're going to want to use some sort of shorthand when you're writing these out because obviously you don't have time on the SAT to be writing out a bunch of words. But so these are my options with white cake. And then I'm going to have the same options with chocolate cake. So vanilla, cream cheese, chocolate, strawberry. And then again, the same options with red velvet. So you can combine it with three different types of frostings. And if I count these all up, I do in fact have 12 different options. Basically, I've got four times three. So I have 12 options, and I get the same answers both ways, but obviously doing this little fill in the blanks and multiplying is going to be quicker. Okay.